Hello, Dr. Zakir with you, Senior ENT Consultant. So the topic is dermoid cyst in the nose. Actually, the cyst formation here, the dermoid cyst formation, the cause is though it is congenital, it, it is not seen in a newborn baby. It is seen only as and when the child develops. So it's a developmental problem too, you can say like that. Now, this cyst, you have uh, dermoid cyst, you have three varieties. The first one where it is confined only to the nose. The second one where it has got an extra uh, external connection. So presentation you will have a small opening here which I will show you the picture on the next slide. And the third variety where the dermoid says it has got an intracranial connection. So you have three uh, varieties in that. So the common presentation will be a slow growing midline mass here. Slow growing midline mass which is seen over the nasal dosum. And if you can see here, you can see a small opening. So this is a second variety which I have shown you. And sometimes they say there is a small discharge on and off. And you can see uh, tough, tough hair sometimes over near the opening. That is how it presents. Now coming to the uh, examination finding, the, it will be a smooth swelling, it will be firm and there will be a fluctuant also because there is, there is a cyst, watery collection like. When we ask the child to cough, it does not increase in size usually. So we come to a uh, diagnosis uh, with an investigation that is we would like to do an MRI. So before that, let me tell you the complications of this condition. Abscess can be formed, there may be history of recurrent infection of the cyst. The nasal bone, uh, it can result in osteomyelitis, the infection of the bone. And if, the, if it, is a, it is of the third variety where the dermoid cyst has got intracranial connection, in that case, if the dermoid cyst is getting infected, it can spread to the brain, it can result in meningitis, that is the covering of the brain is called as meninges, it can result in meningitis or it can even the abscess can trace into the brain, resulting in brain abscess. Now, the investigation, main investigation is MRI. But usually, since this is a surgical condition, we would like to combine a CT scan with MRI for better mapping or planning for, for surgery. So here you can see what I have, how I marked here, we can see the dermoid cyst. So the main treatment is going to be excision. So in case the, there is infection, we will not put an incision and remove the abscess. We will put in a needle, we will aspirate the whole abscess, uh, pus collection. And at the same time, we will give a full course of antibiotic. Once it is over and well healed, we will wait for that. After that, we'll, it will be an erective surgery and the whole dermoid cyst will be removed. Thank you so much. This is how we manage dermoid cyst.